time I got chickens, right? No. I bought some chickens. Mm. I was doing a uh, the True Value Country show After he just bought a boxer. Okay. Yeah, I had a pet boxer, a, a tigger. She was a pup. Uh, so every year, I would go down and do the True Value Country Showdown, the Colgate, Colgate yeah. Country Showdown for KHOZ. And we always did it at that big area, that big outdoor thing in Harrison there on the square by the water or whatever. Uh, and, and they'd do the crawfish. What is crawfish it boil. Crawfish boil and all this stuff. Anyhow, I took the vet down. Was Colton with me? Yes. He was, a, he was a kid. He wanted to go with me that day. He was like, what, five, six years old. Mm -hmm. So I took the Corvette. I had a 78 Corvette Stingray, oh. T-top, orange flames. Beautiful. I stayed home. She stayed home. Mm -hmm. So we go down to Harrison, and after I finished the gig, on the way back through Harrison in a parking lot there, I think it was at a True Value or something, they, had, they said, uh, chickens, baby chicks for sale. So I pulled in. I pulled in, and I bought six baby chickens, <laughs> and I brought them home in a cardboard box in my Corvette. So I get home, and she's like, "Honey, why?" I'm like, "I just always want chickens. We'll have some fresh eggs. We'll put them in the backyard. You know, blah blah blah." Well, they were young, so we, I kept them in a little cardboard in a cardboard box in the in in the uh, living room, and they set on the little mantel part in front of the, the fireplace. So you know, as time went on, they'd get a little bigger and get a little yeah. bigger. Well, one day, I guess they'd gotten. Before before my eyes, they got big enough that they could get out of the box. Right. You know, their wings would let them get up a little. So I'm at the theater, right? Yeah, we just got done with the show. Just got done with the show. Well, she came home first, and she calls Which me. Which never happens. I don't even know why. I, I don't either. First. But she, oh, you all went to the store or something. Maybe. She sends me a picture, and she says, get home now. There's chickens everywhere. And I mean, because she, our concessions gal, Christy, <laughs> had just scared the life out of me saying, you know, those chickens can be really... Um, carry diseases. Yeah, they carry diseases. <laughs> so He's you want to make paranoid. sure you don't, you know, you don't want to touch those chickens. Yeah. I'm like, I don't? She goes, no, no, no. You could get something. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and I get home and I let Tigger out, our little dog, our yeah. boxer. He goes running through the, the um, living room and I look over and this chicken has flown out of the box there was a few of and them. it's me and the chicken and tigger <laughs> and so i grabbed tigger and got him to go outside i mean got her to go outside and i turn around and now there's two chickens that have flown out and i'm like oh my god what am i going to do i don't know how to get you know and so i've got mitts on because i've told not to touch no, them no not mitts she got a kitchen oven uh, mitts yes, oven mitts, oven mitts. That's, well, awesome. that's all i had i didn't have what? anything else I walk in and she has oven mitts on with a broom, with a broom, a kitchen broom. <laughs> There's a kitchen roosting on the lot above the uh, the kitchen, the breakfast nook. One over on top of the, uh, the fireplace and another one just kind of around the living, kind of going, yeah. living room, just picking around. Like, because I'm, I'm freaking you. them all out. I'm not yeah. helping. I'm making the situation yeah. worse. So they're all just getting out of the stupid box. The chicken hunter was loose with her oven mitts and, and, and her Tigger broom. is going nuts, you know, outside. So and it's late. Yeah. So I'm stressing because I know that our neighbors are, you know, Annie. probably not happy with Tino the chicken hunter. <laughs> Tino <laughs> the chicken like, hunter. Get home now. Oh wow, she was dying. Uh, so, uh, so needless to say, that was the last night that we owned chickens. Did you have a, you had a chicken meal the next night? No, I I got rid of the chickens at the as soon as I gathered the chickens, I left and got rid of them. Mm -hmm. Took them to a farm. Sure. <laughs> 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 he didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. Let's just say I got rid of him. I'm, I'm sure gonna, nature probably did. I'm not going to tell you where I got rid of him because it, you're probably not supposed to get rid of him where I just dropped him off. Mm -mm. Okay. Are we past the statute of limitations on that, though? I don't think so. And now that I'm a, a, an elected official, I really don't want to tell you where I let the chickens go. Mm -mm. Okay? 